Your pizza stinks! <laughs> wow, guys, three in a row. One, two, three. Whoo! I like the master key. Hello, survivors, and welcome back to Unturned 3 Early Preview. Today, we're going to take a look at Unturned 3.7.1.5. And I'm laughing because my mouse cursor right there under my eye looks like a tear. It looks like I'm crying. Looks like a little, little sad smurf. It has a tear in his eye. No, it's a happy tear. Trust me, it's a happy tear. There he goes. Goodbye, little happy tear. I mean, look at my face. I'm smiling. Big old smile. How can I be sad? That is a happy tear, and how do I know? It's because there's lots of new stuff to play around with in this version. So let's get inside, and let's go. And there he goes. Goodbye, happy tear. Have a nice life. Ooh, it's nighttime. Check out Survivor Shelter. It looks very spooky with the big spider webs and boarded up windows, doesn't it? Ooh. Okay, let's play Jeopardy. This is actually perfect for our first demonstration. Let's play Jeopardy like we did in the last episode. Uh, Alex Trebek, I will take things that make light for 500, please. Okay, well, uh, you can cook hot dogs and marshmallows on what? Um, what is campfires, Alex? Correct. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Campfire! But well, we can't cook marshmallows or hot dogs on this one, sorry. But we can turn it on, and we can extinguish it. Not only does it create light, but it creates comfort and warmth, too. Ah, oh, so nice. What a lovely night it is here in Canada during the zombie apocalypse. Hmm. Okay, well, we can't stay here all night. We've got more things to demonstrate. Let's head over to the survivor uh, shelter here, and I'm going to show you something else that creates light. Um, what is Torch. Poof. Yes, indeed. It is a torch. I'm going to turn them all on. I've got several torches up here in the survivor shelter. Let's crank them up. And as you can see, there's different uh, colors. These are all the various wood types that we have in the game. Obviously, that's birch, which is the white. I think this is the pine or maple and a pine or a maple. So we have three different varieties. I'm going to turn them all on. Poof. You can, of course, shut them off as well with a little... <gasps> and why don't we go ahead and craft one? Let's craft one up, and I have—I think I have all the materials for one. It's under barricades, by the way, which is pretty much where everything is hidden for the time being. Not everything, but most of the things that don't have a home yet are all found under barricades. And you can see here we've got three different types of torches. As I had said, we've got the birch. This is the maple and the pine. I have enough uh, pine sticks to make the pine variety, so let's go ahead and do that. And, of course, you need a metal as well. And voila. And let's go put a torch over here because this corner is kind of dark and scary. And I want to light it up. That's all you do. You stick it on the wall. And it comes pre-lit. And again, you can extinguish it just simply by interacting with it. Lovely indeed. Now, I want to show you guys a few more things here that's uh, brand new. and have been added to the game recently. But I think we should wait for daylight. Because I don't want to do it in the dark. Good morning, survivors. Here comes the sun, doot and doo doo. We've got the birdies waking up, singing in the trees. Sun's on the horizon. Beautiful morning here in Canada during the zombie apocalypse. Let's have a little breakfast. Mm. Fresh tomato right out of my organic garden. Uh, should I eat? Yeah, let's have two. Mm. Okay, there we go. Now, let's get back to work, shall we? Let's just blow these out. Don't need any fires starting and burning down my uh, my shelter here. And now, let's go take a look at something new. And by the way, when I say new, I mean new to Unturned 3. These are certainly not new to Unturned. If you are an Unturned 2 player, then obviously the boxes and the crates and the fires and the torches are, are not new to you. But uh, anytime something gets added to Unturned 3 early preview, I like to share it with you guys. Uh, keep, uh, keep you uh, abreast of the changes that uh, Nelson's been making. Uh, we're getting very close to this game being complete, and I'm really excited. So anyway, here we have the new crates, and they're made of wood. And we have three varieties. We've got the birch, we've got the maple, and we have a pine box as well. Let's make a pine box. And that requires pine planks and pine sticks, and there you go, pine box. Let's not call it a pine box, because a pine box is really a coffin. That's what they used to call them. And I'm not ready. I'm not ready to go. I'm not I'm gonna be pushing up daisies anytime soon. Not this survivor. There we go. It's a little cockeyed, but it's okay, because we're going to smash it anyway. No, let's not smash that one. Let's smash this one. 
So here we go. You open them up. You get all that storage down there. And by the way, Nelson added the ability to close containers with the same key that you use to open them. Interact key. Isn't that awesome? Gosh, that was that is a long time coming. So thank you very much for that, sir. So here we have a... What do we have? We're going to have to get rid of something for demonstration purposes. Do I have my farmer's hat? It's a trusty hat for farming. And let me show you guys. These do not lock, by the way. Um, the wood boxes. Anybody, if you're playing on a multiplayer service, any, server, anyone will be able to get into these pine boxes. The, the uh, lockers here are locked by default, as far as I know, on a multiplayer service. I haven't tested that yet. But they can't get into these, but they can be smashed. And if someone smashes a container... As far as I know, anything that's inside that container goes poof, just like my farmer's hat. But I sacrifice my farmer's hat for science. That's what we do here. It's all about the science. Okay, now with that done, let's take a look at the lockers, guys. So this is a metal locker here, and I think I showed these to you in the last episode, but um, I didn't really talk about them much, but we can actually craft them now. And I'm pretty sure that's under barricades, like everything else for the time being. <laughs> I'm sure it'll all find a home sooner or later when Nelson gets around to it. Oh, by the way, you can craft up that campfire. I didn't show you how to do that, but it's just a bunch of logs. Five logs. Uh, vault door? Here it is. It is a locker, and it requires metal sheets. The full-size metal sheets. Three metal bars, a blowtorch. And there you go. I'm not going to make one of those right now because I don't need one. But I wanted to show you that. Uh, we can make bars, fortification bars. In fact, why don't we go do that right now? We can make a jail. A jail door. Isn't that cool? We can make caltrips. I have some caltrips down here. Down in the, uh, in the front door. Right here. These are made with nails. You can see I've got some nails here. Let's go make a couple more. So all these things are being added very rapidly. And we're getting mighty close to a complete product here. And there you go. Pretty cool stuff. If you step on a caltrip... It injures you, uh, it, it takes a little bit of your health down right away, instantly, and it also causes bleeding, if I recall correctly. That's how it worked on turn two. I haven't actually tested it, but maybe we'll do that for science too a little bit later. Alright, first, let's finish up our metal bunker. So this is all metal. Ow! See? For science. Ow! I'll even break a knuckle for you guys. So I have built this up using um, metal sheets. And I'm going to put in more bars here in the window. Unfortunately, the bars don't cover the whole window. Not one set of bars. So we have to make more. And this is just... Oh! Oh! I need more. I need more um, pipes. Uh, yeah. Not the most dexterous fellow. But I can shoot good. I'm a good shooter. There we go. That's better. <laughs> now, in retrospect, I should have moved my... Ow! Yep! Saw that coming. It was a slow fall, but it still hurts. Uh... <laughs> Uh, in retrospect, I should have moved my bunker closer to the house so I could get up and down easier than jumping. And now now I got a broken leg and I can't jump through the windows. You can't hop when you have a broken leg. You see that little bone down there in the left-hand corner just above my health? Yep. I'm in twobbles. Now I got to go through the caltrips. Yeah, I do. <laughs> hey, remember I said I was going to demonstrate caltrips? Watch. It's pretty fun stuff. I got my bandage ready. I'm going to go get a splint, by the way. That's why I'm heading back up there. Ready? And... Ow! Ow, I'm bleeding. Hold on. That hurt. I hope you're happy. And look at that. It's still there. Let me check the medical supplies. I'm going to carry a, a splint with me. You can make splints, by the way, very easy. Very easily. Um, with... What is splint? Under medical supplies. There it is. A couple of pieces of metal and some planks. Now, let's grab some of these metal sheets. Not you, Sir Log. Get out of here. All right. So now, let's get back down to my bunker. And I'm going to go this way. The safe way. Through the house. Whee! All right. Awesome. Now, we can make this uh, this bars. I could have made up some of these these metal bars simply by breaking down some of the metal I suppose I could have done that, huh? Which is right here under gear, I think, right? Yeah, right here. So metal scraps can be turned into metal bars. But I need the metal anyway. So let's go back to barricades. And which actually does belong here, doesn't it? And there it is. Blowtorch on metal bars. And now let's try to line this up just right so it looks nice, nice. If possible, which would be right about there-ish. 
And I think that's good enough. Bloop. Not perfect, but it keeps the bad guys out and the good guys in. Now we need a door. Let's make a vault door. That's this puppy right here. Oh, I need more metal. Oh, here we go. Here goes our demonstration. Woohoo. Where was that? Under gear. Okay, let's make a few more bars. And then back to barricades. Let's put up the door here. Boom. Mm -hmm. Ah, perfect installation. Oh, okay. So the... <laughs> I was like, how am I going to get in? I don't know why it does that. I guess it still works perfectly fine. I just ex assumed that the uh, that both sides of the door would have the uh, the big door knob. I guess not. Anyway, we're safe and sound in here. This can be busted down with the proper tools. Explosions. You can probably shoot it. I know you can whack it with a sledgehammer and knock these walls down because I've done it. Um, but it'll keep zombies out at least for a while. I think, anyway. Now, let's get back up inside. I did it. I did it. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. I know you've spotted my new military trucks parked outside in the yard. And you're just waiting for me to go over there and start them up and go for a ride. And now it's time. But it's not the only neat new thing that we have to play around with. Let me show you. Oh, nope. Sledgehammer. Wrong one. Boop. <laughs> Shotgun. So this is the new Master Key. Just added a couple days ago. It's a Master Key shotgun. American shotgun. Chambered in 20 gauge shells, which I happen to have down here. He's stacking twos. And uh, let's take a look at this guy, shall we? I'm going to swing it on up here. Let's take off the attachments and show it all raw like... Let me just drop it first. You see what it looks like on the ground. There it is. 20 gauge master key double barrel shotgun. Double barrel means it holds two shells. That's it. Two. But it makes up for it because it's got a powerful blast. Does lots of damage. We're going to go try it out right now. Let's throw on some attachments so we can have a tactical attachment on here. And I have a laser for this particular demonstration. And a vertical grip for better stability. And we have lots of shells to go shoot. Actually, not too many, but enough to kill a few zombies to show you the power of this puppy. Oh, by the way, Nelson added a, uh, a new key mapping for the tactical attachments. So it's a separate key than it was before. You used to have to hit your interact key, right? Well, I had mentioned that to, to Nelson, just like, uh, just like I did with the E key opening and closing storage boxes. And the man is listening. That's what we love about Nelson. He listens to the community, so thank you very much for adding that key. All right. Now, without further ado, it is time for our adventure. But let's choose a car to bring. So we've got three new military vehicles here, guys, in Unturned 3. This is our old favorite, the Humvee, which has pretty good top speed. It's got good armor. It's got a nice horn to it. Decent handling, etc. And I forget how many seats in this thing. At least four. I think this one has four seats. So you can have a passenger... Uh, front passenger and two rear passengers and obviously the driver very nice indeed and here we have the APC which is the armored personnel character a character <laughs> armored personnel carrier and they just keep rolling aren't they rolling this rolling let me hit the brakes and this one I believe holds up to six people total I'm not really sure about that I know there's a way to switch seats but I always forget what it is is it the F keys I think it's shift F yeah it is okay F one through five. Okay, so it holds five people. Hold on. Two, three, four, five in the way back. I'm in the way back. So one driver and four passengers. Armored personnel. Uh, armored personnel carrier. There we go. Loving it. And then we've got the Ural. Ural. The Ural. I think it's just Ural. This is a Russian uh, military truck. That's used for various things, I guess, like carrying grass. Because you never know, we need to bring grass to the front lines. And this one holds... Let's find out. Hit the brakes! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I keep rolling. So this one holds... Just hit the F key there. F, one through eight. So this one holds eight people. There's the passenger. Here's the way... Oh, this is up front. I can't get through, though. I can't see the driver in the, uh, the front seat passenger. Here's all the different seats. Very cool. All right, so eight people. That's a lot. 
That's going to be fun in multiplayer servers. So I also have now the, the Maple Strike rifle, which is a military uh, military weapon, and I got it all tricked out. We'll play around with that shortly. All right, let's get down to town, shall we? We'll head down into... Where's all the zombies at? Let's find some zombies. Not too many zombies in Saskatchewan, unfortunately. How about we just go down to Alberta? That's a favorite spot to shoot zombies. Yeah, I don't want to go to the cities, really, and spoil the fun yet. Because I want to experience those cities with you guys in the full Let's Play when we get an opportunity very soon. 38, 39 miles an hour. Top speed, that's pretty good. It's faster than the off-roader. Here we go, guys. We're going to pull right up into town. And we'll try our new double-barrel shotgun. Ooh, stops really nicely. Here we go. Over here, pal. Over here. Smile for the master key. I don't want to shoot my car. Oh, here comes his friends. Great. Twins. One for you? Oh, did you see that? It looks like the shotgun blast actually hit the guy behind the one in front, too. Which you would expect. Working jeans. You guys got work jeans. Nice. I like that in the shotgun. So there might be some sort of uh, area of effect with the blast. Maybe it spreads when you're a little bit farther away. Let's, see, let's go see if we can't get a couple of these zombies together. Over here, buddy boy. Come on. Just follow me, friend. All right, guys. Line it up. Line it up. Let me get back a little bit and get some good spread on this thing. What are you eating? And right here. How about that? Nice! I like it. Yeah, baby. Two. Down with one shot. Nice spread on this thing. Let's grab a whole bunch here. Let's see if we can get more. In a conga line. Oh, it's the pizza guy. I don't like your pizza. I really hate it. Too much sauce. Not enough cheese. Here we go. Oh, oh, reload. It's a pretty fast reload, believe it or not. Oh, let's turn on our light here. Your pizza stinks! Wow, guys, three in a row. One, two, three. Whoo! I like the master key. This thing just wrecks zombies, doesn't it? How many more shells do I have? Oh, dear. I've only got three shells left. Can I get out alive? We'll find out. Pop. You know what? I'm going to take this jack because I don't think I have a jack. Oh, extra gas can too. Wow! Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Oh, I have one, one more. One more shell. Let's just shoot the wall here and see what kind of spread it has at, say, this distance here. Whoa! Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, I wish I had more shells for more demonstration and testing purposes, but I'm out. Sorry. All right, guys. Back at the Humvee. And it's time to get home before the sun goes down. Don't want to be out here in town without any ammunition for a primary weapon in the dark. Actually, wait a minute. No, this is not my primary weapon. I have another primary weapon. <laughs> Let me show you my maple strike really quick before we go. Let me find some zombies to shoot at. I think I got them all, didn't I? Okay. I'm back. I just left the game and came back. And all the zombies reappeared. That's what I like about zombies. They just keep coming back, don't they? Alright, let's get a little distance between the bad guys and us. And I... Yes, I do have a, a suppressor on this, so... Pop! Nice and quiet-like. We'll take a few out. Without making them aware of our presence. One shot kills to the head. It also has uh, automatic fire. As well as uh, a semi. Now, I thought this had a three-round burst, the maple strike, in the in unturned two, didn't it? Huh. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it will eventually. I'm not really sure about that. Let's put on a red dot here. For the close-up work. <clears throat> Let's try auto. We'll try short bursts. Ooh. Let's do the body, though. Body shots. Take the suppressor off, it'll do more damage. <laughs> Ooh, 
Ooh, that's loud. Oh, I like it. Frankly, I like semi-automatic fire. If you can aim for the head and you get it, get it. if you can hit the head, then you don't waste as many bullets. All right, let's go. I'm going to head back home, guys. That's it for the fun for this episode. So we'll just wait around until the next uh, next update comes out. And when it does, I will be sure to make a video and keep you guys apprised of what's new. Oh, okay, so this doesn't really have quite as good handling as the Roadster. <laughs> Which I wouldn't expect it would. But it certainly can do a good job running over them zombies. Alright, we're going to head back over here to the Survivor Shelter and call it a day. A job well done, folks. Nice work. Alright, we'll see you in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good night. Bye-bye.